Let's start with a quick revision of the most important section of the Companies Act, which has been asked many a times in the past final question papers. So it is expected to be asked in the December 2025 attempt as well. So let's have a very quick revision of Section 135, Corporate Social Responsibility. So first and the foremost thing, Corporate Social Responsibility activities will be recommended by Corporate Social Responsibility Committee. Now, which companies must form CSR committee and must formulate CSR policy? What does CSR policy contain? What activities to be conducted? How much expenditure to be spent? And all that information will be there under Corporate Social Responsibility Policy. Quickly, we'll see which class of companies. Every company, every company, first limit is related to net worth. How much has to be the net worth? More than or equal to rupees 500 crores. Or else, it can satisfy the limit of turnover, which has to be more than or equal to 1000 crores. Rupees 1000 crores. And or else, it can also satisfy net profit limit, which is more than or equal to 5 crore rupees. So, all these limits must be satisfied during the immediately preceding financial year. Immediately preceding financial year. If these three or any of these three is satisfied, then what are the obligations of the company? Two things. It has to constitute, that is form CSR committee and it has to formulate, that is prepare CSR policy. Now, who will be part of CSR committee? Of course, board of directors. How many board of directors should be part of it? It, it should consist of minimum minimum of three or more directors out of which at least one has to be independent director at least one has to be independent director so looking over here consisting three or more directors out of which at least one should be independent director now whoever is part of csr committee the details of composition of csr committee should be disclosed where in a board's report you have to disclose that these per directors are part of csr committee now what is the responsibility of CSR committee? Of course, we have seen the first obligation, second obligation over there, formulate CSR policy. So here, the first obligation of CSR committee is to prepare, that is formulate a policy. And this will be recommended to whom? Board of directors. Board of directors will approve the CSR policy. Clear? So first obligation is formulate and recommend the board, the CSR policy. In CSR policy, what is the main content? You will include what activities you will conduct as a corporate social responsibility towards the society and the environment. So the list of activities you can choose from the schedule 7 of the companies act. We have schedule 3 for financial statements. Likewise, we have schedule 7 for the list of corporate social responsibility activities. So what is the responsibility of CSR committee? Quickly, the first is to formulate and recommend the CSR policy to the board and also it will recommend how much expenditure we have to incur for these activities and then monitoring whether the CSR, CSR policy is being implemented in the company or not. Next, now what is the responsibility of the board? Of course, it has to approve the CSR policy. It has to approve the CSR policy. There we have seen that we have to disclose in the board's report, in the board's report that who, who are part of CSR committee. One more disclosure in the board's report is you have to disclose what is the CSR policy. You have to disclose what is the CSR policy and also you have to place the CSR policy in the company's website and another duty or responsibility of the board of directors. Of course, again, they will also ensure that whatever is there in the CSR policy, is it being implemented or not? That will be ensured by the board of directors. And comes a special point related to minimum contribution or the minimum amount of expenditure the company must incur every year on CSR activities. How much it has to incur? 2% of average net profits now average you will calculate of the immediately preceding three financial years immediately preceding three financial year 
total the particular net profits divide by 3 you will get average and average into 2% is your minimum contribution or a minimum expenditure for CSR activities. Now you will calculate the net profits as per section 198. You will get an answer, you will get a good out ma'am if there are losses. If there are losses what will be the net profit? Net profit will be 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 divided by 3 0. So there will be no need to spend any CSR amount if there are losses. Clear? Now whatever you are choosing that you want to spend on CSR activity. Company should give preference for the development of the society or the environment of local areas and areas around that company's location. So, moving on to the case where company fails to spend this 2%. If company fails to spend this 2%, what happens in the board of directors report? You have to disclose why did you not spend 2% towards the CSR and what are the reasons? that has to be disclosed in the board's report. So board's report plays a very important role in the CSR. So you have to disclose the composition of CSR committee, CSR policy has to be disclosed and reasons for not spending the minimum contribution amount. Clear? And then, if in case in a, in a financial year, I did not spend 2%, I have spent 3%, 4% of the net profit. That means I have spent excess of the minimum contribution. Can this be set off for the minimum contribution of the next succeeding financial year? Yes, up to three immediately precede, immediately succeeding financial years. So if the company spends any excess amount than specified above, it may set off such excess amount to be spent up to the three immediately succeeding financial years. So if you spend 3% today and that remaining 1% you can set off to the, uh, this year, you can set off to the next year, clear? And then moving on to the last concept, if there is an unspent amount, unspent amount which is remaining now that unspent amount for that financial year if it is remaining unspent first check whether it is related to any ongoing project you're building some school you're constructing some roads or you're constructing some projects so now if that is remaining pending that is it is ongoing still it is not completed if it is related to ongoing project then you have to transfer it to a separate account which is called unspent corporate social responsibility account within how many days within 30 days from the end of the financial year now this unspent csr you will utilize for the ongoing project for the next three years clear shall be used for the purpose of the ongoing project during the next three years if after three years also if there is any unspent amount in that account then you have to transfer that amount to where to a fund which is specified under schedule seven that too what is the time limit after the end of the third year within 30 days you will transfer to that unspent sorry it is not called unspent. It is a specified fund under Schedule 7. Only in this case, it will be called as unspent corporate social responsibility account. And if it is not related, in a financial year, you have allocated 5 lakhs, but you've only spent 4 lakhs, project is also completed. That 1 lakh which is unspent, which is not related to ongoing project, where you will transfer directly to the fund specified under Schedule 7. Within what time? Within 6 months from the end of the financial year we have successfully completed the corporate social responsibility uh, content now you can find this particular pdf in my telegram channel for which the link is in the description box below and it is very important from an examination point of view in june also there was eight marks asked december 2023 seven marks june 2024 seven marks with this content you can answer any question related to csr if it comes from the companies act 2013 any mcq also can be easily answered so I hope the video is helpful. If you like it, if you really find it useful, please like, share and comment and then share it with your friends also so that it will be useful for them for a quick revision of the CSR. Bye-bye.